Let's get more on this now with Tim Waterer in Sydney. He's Chief Market Analyst at KCM Trade. Good to see you, Tim. Now, markets had already been betting on a Trump victory since that presidential debate. Why is Trump a heavy favourite for investors? Good morning. Nice to be with you. Yes, that's right. Well, the polls have been indicating that you know Trump is the, the favoured winner come November, and markets have been positioning towards that outcome. And I think that's because we have already had a preview of what a, a second Trump term may look like. We just have to go back to what he did first time round. So similar platform uh, in 2024. So it's uh, Trump talking about tax cuts and deregulation. Now, they're two things that the corporate sector in the US, they generally take quite well to. And I think that's why we have seen stock markets, you know, moving higher on the basis of a potential Trump presidency. And of course, that's uh, in contrast to what we saw in 2016 when markets had a big sell-off after Trump won. So markets feeling a lot more receptive this time around, I think because his policies are generally good for for growth of the corporate sector. And I think that's why we're seeing uh, yeah, markets reacting as they are, certainly in the US at least. Right now, while US markets are expected to react positively, we're seeing Asian stocks retreat on the news. Why is that? Yes, that's right. Asian markets very much on the back foot today. Part of that, I think, is because Asian markets were playing catch up to what happened on Wall Street on Friday. So the Dow fell 377 points. So a lot of the selling we saw today uh, was in reaction to that. And of course, that's just a continuing rotation, I guess, out of you know some of the big tech names in the US towards some of the, the smaller cap stocks. So I think that's what was, what was in play today. But I think also there's another element. I think there is some reservation uh, about what a potential trade wars and, and higher tariffs could mean, particularly uh, what that could mean for the, uh, the semiconductor and AI industry um, if, if either party gets into office for that matter. So I think there's a lot of uncertainty around the, the political landscape at the moment. I think that's causing some of the, uh, the hesitation uh, to, to uh, add risk amongst the Asian markets at the moment. Right now, and the uh, Democrats are yet to select a candidate to replace Biden, who, as we know, has endorsed Kamala Harris. Will her policies be any different to Biden's? That's the big question. So I think policy-wise, there will be a lot of sim similarity there. I think uh, it'll be mainly a stylistic change in many senses. But from an investment point of view, there'll be a focus on whether Harris, if she's the nominee, sticks to some of the uh, the changes in the in tax uh, code for the US. So, for example... Uh, Biden has proposed increasing the corporate tax rate to 28%. So we'll be watching very closely to see if, if Harris sort of toes the line there, given she was part of the Biden administration, or whether she has a change of heart on that front. So I think policy-wise, yeah, we could see a lot more similarities than differences. Um, so markets will be looking for cues, as I said, stylistically, uh, or whether the polls change in coming months, which could uh, you know alter the expected outcome come November. So uh, I think what we've been reminded of over the past week really is that, you know, we could see further curveballs between now and when the, the election arrives in November. So we could be in for a, a volatile match in markets, uh, time in markets, I think. All right, Tim Water there in Sydney for us. Thank you for